Hey guys, it's Marvi. I am back with my favorite video. This is an empties video. Um, I love empties videos because I buy a lot of stuff and it makes me feel really happy and accomplished when I finish my products and use them all the way through. Um, I think that that is a real testament to uh, trying new products and liking new products. And I also like to talk about will I buy them again uh, in this video. So um, we have quite a few products to get to. Um, and I also have some uh, like home care stuff. So um, if you guys like that, like candles and stuff like that, I will continue to include them in these videos. Um, so let me know if you guys like that because I like to just share all kinds of empties that I use because I love empties. So anyways, let's get started with the skincare because it is a lot. Now this one, I'm just going to start off with a bang and I'm going to start with my favorite one, the one I'm the most proud of finishing, which is this from Glow Recipe. This is the Watermelon Glow PHA BHA Pore Tight Toner. Now you guys watch my skincare video which by the way i am planning to do an update to that video very soon where i will go through my products again and i will break them up and talk about products that i think are better for oily skin or things like that so leave a comment down below and let me know how you would like me to break up the skincare video um or if you want it all together as one um and have like a longer video anyways not the point this product now i've had this product for a while i've had this product for like two years this is a very big bottle and it took me a long time to finish it now um if you guys watched that video i talked about how i did not like this product and i stand by that now a lot of people like this toner and frankly i just don't know why i hate this toner i said in that video i'll say it again it smells like cactus it smells like I'm putting cactus water on my face because it is made with cactus water, which is supposed to be hydrating. I mean, I don't know what they were trying to go for, but it's a very off-putting smell to me. Again, a lot of their stuff in their water line, uh, in their watermelon line, just doesn't smell like watermelon. And this is one of those products. Um, I don't know if it's because it's an older product for me or what, but all I got was cactus and like... I didn't get any uh, watermelon smell, so that kind of sucks. Also, pore tight toner. Where? Where? I still have pores. My pores were never tight because of this product. If anything, I have other products that I can talk about in my skincare video that really help with tightening pores and minimizing the look of pores. This is not that. Um, so I, yeah, I, I hated this toner. Um, I'd give it a fail. It's horrendous. I don't like it. And again, one of my favorite products of all time is the watermelon spray from this brand Glow Recipe. Uh, there's other products I really like from Glow Recipe, the Nice in My Dew Drops, which I have a lot to say about that product. There's a lot of stuff I really, really stand with this brand, and this is just not that. So um, I finished it. I will never purchase this again. And um, yeah, it really did nothing for my skin except make my face smell like cactus. So yeah. Okay, next is, don't kill me guys, the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleansing Cloths. Now, um, I know what you're gonna say. Makeup wipes suck, they're bad for the environment. Yes, I know, I agree with you all. I agree with you all. Here's the thing, um, I'm a very lazy person and um, you know, <laughs> There are days where I just physically, mentally, and emotionally, I don't have the strength to sit there with a cleansing balm and then go in and clean it again and then do my skincare routine. So what ends up happening is I buy these because these I like to take off my makeup and then I'm doing other things. I'm studying, I'm cooking, I'm cleaning, I'm doing whatever. And then later in the night when it's now time for me to go to sleep, I will go in and cleanse my face and I will put on all of my skincare products but I don't like to do it right away but I like to take the makeup off right away sometimes and so that's why I like these so much so um I have very sensitive skin I've noticed with cleansing wipes with makeup wipes I pretty much cannot use any makeup wipes now for the longest time I would use the makeup wipes from the simple brand um that were at Target um but they recently changed the formula um I don't know why uh 
big mistake, huge. Um, but anyways, I tried the Cetaphil ones because Cetaphil is a good brand. It's like a, you know, for sensitive skin. Um, I really, really like them. I also have the CeraVe wipes at my boyfriend's house. I don't like them as much as I like this brand. This is the better one. So, um, yeah, I know these are bad, but, you know, I have kind of a busy, crazy lifestyle. And for me, it's not always feasible to sit there with a cleansing balm and then do the whole nine yards right then and there. Sometimes I just need to get the makeup off. So, yeah, um, these are very gentle, very, very good. They take everything off and they're, I always buy them in a two pack and I always get a pretty good deal. I just actually bought some from Ulta um, and I got them buy one, get one 50% off. So these are generally, you can always find a good deal on these. I really like these. I would definitely buy these again, but um, yeah, I'm going to try to limit my makeup wipe exposure. But for now, I still really like them. Sorry. Okay. Next is something that I am actually really sad that I finished and yeah. The Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair Cream Serum thing. Uh, yeah, so this product is close, near and dear to my heart. I really, really like this product. Now, okay. I love Tatcha. The water cream is the best thing that has ever been invented and I contemplated buying it again or waiting, which maybe I should do a video where I talk about um, products that I'm thinking about buying. But anyways, I digress. I love this. This is amazing. Um, I am definitely 1 million percent going to be repurchasing this, but not for a while because this is a very heavy product this is the kind of product I can only use in the winter time, but it is, it is chef's kiss. It is so good. So what I do is I usually use this the night I use acids. So when I do my BHA peels or my glycolic acid, or even like, you know, my A, even if I use AHA, I will use this and like seal the deal with this product. Um, it is so nourishing and refreshing and like emollient so whatever you put on your face this does a really good job of locking it in and it's it's a serum in a cream so i prefer this over the actual indigo cream because this one feels like it's doing more this one feels like it's not only locking everything in that i already put on my face but it's also like adding its own ingredients to it and the next morning my skin is just so radiant like I've literally noticed in this month that I stopped using this I've literally noticed my face not be as radiant or as like dewy and like healthy looking as it did when I was using this so because of that noticeable difference like for me this product is worth every penny um, again I will leave all of the information down below of um, what I paid for everything but yeah this is very expensive but I'm telling you it is worth it and a little goes a long way. And um, this lasted me, I think like five, six months, maybe more than that. So this is a very good bang for your buck. And you know, I I have found other products, especially makeup. I have found a lot of products that are good um, that you can find that you don't really have to pay a lot for that are very inexpensive and they're very, very good products. I have a lot of skincare uh, stuff that's inexpensive too, but some stuff you just have to invest in. So yeah, I love this Indigo Overnight Repair Cream. I would buy it again and again and again until the day I die because it is fantastic. Okay, next, let's stay with the Tatcha. Next is this from Tatcha. This is the Dewy Skin Cream. I purchased, I didn't purchase this. I actually got a sample at Sephora for this. I went up to Sequoia. I took this little thing with me because, you know, I wanted something travel size. And it ended up being, now here's the thing, before I before I say how I feel about it, I have always been a water cream stan. I will take a bullet for the water cream. It is the best invention of all time. So I always stayed away from the dewy skin cream because I have oily skin. I don't have dry skin. So I, just never thought that this product was for me. However, I feel like in certain climates, as I've gotten older, 
my skin now is starting to behave like dry skin. So in the winter time, my skin is actually pretty dry and um, requires more moisture. Um, and when I was traveling, I went up to Sequoia and you know, the air is, you're in altitude, you're, I was like 8,000 feet above sea level or something. And it was just like, my skin was so dry. It was so parched despite it being hot. Like, I feel like the air was just like sucking the life out of my skin. This thing saved my skin when I was up there. Like, I'm not kidding. That's why I ended up finishing it was because I needed so much of it because I was just like, my skin was just like parched. So yeah, this is really, really good. Um, I will consider purchasing this for the winter time, but you know, because I already love something like this for the winter time, I don't think this is necessary. Um, but I'm not opposed to it because it did such a good job in a dry climate. So yeah, I was really, really thoroughly impressed. And um, yeah, sometimes you gotta step out of your comfort zone a little bit. I was very happy with this. Okay, next is this one from First Aid Beauty. This is the Ultra Repair Oil Control Moisturizer. Uh, if you guys watch one of my first videos I ever put up, um, my first video I think was like, what's in my bag for the Sephora VIB sale. And then the next one was the haul. Um, and so I talked about this moisturizer in there. Um, I did end up purchasing it. And I actually really liked it, you guys. I really, really liked it. Um, it, it was kind of like, at first when I started using it, I was like, okay, this is kind of mediocre. Like, it was just like, whatever. Like, I, in my heart, I was just like yearning for the water cream. Like, I was like, oh, I should have bought the water cream, you know? But over time, this was so nourishing and refreshing. And is it the water cream? No, but it is so fantastic. And it's a really good option because it's half the price. This is like 30 something dollars and the water cream is $69. So yeah, I'm very sad that I finished it. Um, I don't think I will purchase this again until, um, you know, the hotter months come back around because right now we're, you know, once we once I finish uh, summer, then I'm onto my fall and winter stuff, which I'm happy to do a video on that. But um, I, I'm not opposed to repurchasing this for next spring and summer because it was really, really good. I was actually really surprised. Now, does it oil control? No, no, it does not. It does not oil control. Um, but I frankly, I didn't expect it to. Um, I usually don't fall for anything that says oil control because Believe me, I've tried everything on the market. And even if it does oil control, it doesn't oil control the whole day. That's how they get you. So I wasn't expecting this to do that and it didn't, but it was a really hydrating and nourishing moisturizer that brought a lot of life into my skin. And I felt like my skin was drinking up the moisture, which is what I look for in gel creams. So I was very, very happy with this product. And um, yeah, not opposed to purchasing it again. Okay. Last but not least for skincare. You guys, I'm sad about this one, okay? The honey mask from I'm from. I'm so sad about this. Why? Why am I sad about this? Because I told you guys in my skincare video that once I finished this product, I had another honey mask by Pharmacy, which is called um, the Honey Potion, I believe. I'll talk about it in that video, but... Um, yeah, I had that one already like as a backup and so I, I, I have now opened it and started using it. So I'm not going to purchase this until I finish that one. Um, I'm trying to be very consistent with that because I do tend to over purchase and stock up on things and then they end up sitting there for months and um, I actually don't, don't think that that's very good for makeup or skincare. So I am doing my best to not do that. But anyways, if you guys watch that video, you guys know how I feel about this product. This product for me is a life saver, a skin saver. Um, I cannot stress to you guys enough how amazing this mask is, especially if you use any type of acids, BHA, which is salicylic acid, glycolic acid, any kind of AHA, lactic acid, even if you use retinol, if you use anything that is a chemical exfoliant on your skin, you run the risk of really, really stripping your skin 
and making your skin really sensitive because what the chemical exfoliant is doing is it's literally lifting off dead skin off of you. That's what it's doing. That's the way it exfoliates. And so over time, you start to have a problem where your skin just, you're, you're really destroying your moisture barrier. And a product like this really helps restore your moisture barrier and really brings health and life and moisture and emollient back into the skin, right? It's made of like the special honey from Korea. I don't really know you guys, but I bought this off of, I bought this off of a Korean website. Um, I forget what it's called, but they ship stuff to United States. Um, I bought it on the Wish Trend. That's what it's called, Wish Trend. So yeah, I bought this off Wish Trend. Um, and yeah, you guys, I'm so sad. I love this product so much. Um, I would literally slather my face and lips in this, leave it on for 15 minutes, and you are, you just wake up with rejuvenated, healthy skin. I really don't know how else to explain it other than that. It is amazing. It's fantastic. The one I have from Pharmacy pales in comparison to this one. Why? Because I've tried both of these before. But anyways, yeah, this is an absolute, absolute repurchase. Absolutely. Again, um, just I have to wait a little while till I finish that one. But yeah, this is if you guys can purchase this, I suggest you do. Okay, um, let's move on to some body care things because I think that's a good transition from the skincare stuff. Uh, this is from the brand Dermatonics. This is the soothing foot cream. Now, if any of you watch Dr. Dre here on YouTube, she is a skincare dermatologist. Um, she does a lot of videos about skincare and she is very, very serious about the stuff that she likes. I actually purchased this off of like, off of one of her reviews that she did. Um, this cream is very thick. It has collodial oatmeal. This stuff really saved my feet, you guys. That's why I felt the need to talk about it. Um, I bought this off Amazon, I believe. I'll leave everything down below. Um, it is fantastic. So I would get out of the shower and, you know, I, I wear heels and like, you know, I work in a professional environment. So I wear heels and I wear like whatever. So my feet are not always in the best condition. Um, so I'll put this on. I'll put on socks. I'll go to sleep. And the next morning, my feet are so baby soft and they're just like really hydrated. This is a very, very good foot cream and um, it's not very expensive. So yeah, that's the reason I bought it. I really, really like it and I wanted to share it with you guys um, because I think it's important to share other kinds of products that people like. So yeah, good foot cream. Okay, let's move on to this one. This is from Kopari. This is the Pink Souffle Body Mask. Um, I talked about this in my uh, ranking my body care uh, products video, which I did recently. Um, I didn't like this, you guys. Uh, no surprise if you watch that video. I didn't like this. Um, you know, I was kind of expecting it to have a real difference on my skin. It's essentially like a clay mask for your body, and it has good in ingredients. Um, it has kaolin clay, bentonite clay, niacinamide, dragon fruit, um, I was really expecting this to, I was really expecting to see a difference on my skin and I did not. So I'm very sad about that because it just kind of feels like a useless product. And for me personally, there is nothing that bothers me more than a useless product. For me, that is like, it's like my pet peeve because I like to try new products and I like to try different things, but I hate spending money on products that I do not see results from. It drives me nuts because in my mind, I'm like, well, why do you exist if you don't work? You know, but whatever, you know, I understand it's a business. But anyways, anyways, I digress. I did not like this product. I will not purchase this again. Um, I believe they have even repackaged this. This is quite old, um, but yeah, I, I didn't see a difference. I would not purchase this again. Okay, makeup. So this is not an empty, but I have my Real Techniques sponge here because I've had it for quite a while. Yeah, this this needs to go. Um, try not to keep your sponges too long. It's a good idea to switch them out and change them out for hygienic reasons. They do build mold. I've seen it before. Um, 
This one lasted pretty well because it's not as porous as the Beauty Blender one. Um, and so because of that, I think it held up better. Um, but yeah, it was time to go. To be honest, I didn't really like these from Real Techniques. Um, I, I really, really like the Beauty Blender ones. I always buy them when they're on sale. And um, there's one that I bought from e.l.f. If you guys saw one of my Ulta hauls, it's like a little um, $6 camel concealer sponge. I really like that one. That's the one I use on a daily basis because it's small, so it gets into the crevices here. Um, this one was a little too big, and then when it's wet, it's even bigger. So it's a little harder to work with, and it's den it's more dense, and I actually don't like that. So, yeah, I don't think I would purchase this again. Okay, next is this little thing from NARS. This is the little Afterglow lip balm. This is the mini size, and it is in the Orgasm shade. Now, um, I bought this in a little set, so it came with this one and the other one, um, the, the, the darker one, the redder one. Um, I got rid of that one a long time ago um, before I was doing videos on YouTube, um, but this one lasted me quite a while because I had it in my backpack. Um, and I really, really like it, you guys. I think it brings really nice shine and sheen to the lips, but I don't think it's anything special. And so I think if you have other lip balms that you really like and enjoy, I don't think that this is necessary. I've considered purchasing the the uh, regular size of this, and I've always kind of talked myself out of it because I'm like, Ugh. it's like, I don't know, $30 or something for a lip balm. It's kind of lame, you know? Like I'd rather spend that money on like really nice lip oil or lip gloss or whatever, what have you. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of why I've talked myself out of buying it, but it's not bad. It's a great product. I liked the finish it would give on my lips it's just not anything to write home about so i'm on the fence about this one but for now just considering how many products i've been purchasing i don't think i'd repurchase this in the mini or the big size okay guys this is no surprise to anyone lash paradise you guys know if you've watched any of my videos i've had i i bought these like in bulk pretty much and so i had a lot of brand new ones that i had to work through so this is one of the ones i was working through i have finally finished it you know of course with mascara it's just one of those products where it's always going to look like it has something on there but in reality when you're like digging around like it's pretty much out so and it's also old that's another thing don't keep your mascaras too long so yeah so um again if you guys have seen any of my videos, you guys know how I feel about this mascara. I do like it. Um, I am using it still. I don't dislike it. I'm just looking for something a little more lengthening and less spider clumpy. So um, again, it's not bad. It's just not my favorite anymore. And for that reason, I don't think that I would repurchase it because I really am on a mission. I wanna find a really, really good mascara. And my problem is that I have to find waterproof mascara for my top lashes, so that limits my search a lot. So if you guys have any good recommendations for waterproof mascara, leave them down below. I'm happy to take requests because I am really looking for some. Um, I have bought uh, a couple that I like. Um, I bought the voluminous one from, no, the telescopic one from L'Oreal. Um, it's okay. Um, I have another one from Essence that is okay too. So yeah, so uh, if you have any recommendations, I will take them. Um, but yeah, would I repurchase this again? Probably not. Okay, now to my candles. So if you guys watch my Bath & Body Works video, I did talk about these candles in there, I believe. This is Fiji White Sands. This is my favorite uh, summer scent. The notes, um, I talked about this actually in my last uh empties video because i finished the soap the last time so yeah i really like this i can't wait for next summer to buy it again i don't know what the notes i don't know what the notes are i can't see it here but it's in that last empties video anyways i went as far as i could go without burning myself um oh, it smells so good it smells like a beach house like it smells like like some like cute beach house in like malibu or something that's what it smells like okay Next one is this one. This is sugared lemon zest. It has lemons, lemon zest, and sugar cane. That's exactly what it smells like. 
this was a very very nice summer smell as well it made my house smell really really nice and i have replaced it with another lemon candle so that i bought from like tj maxx or something so yeah i'm, I'm really enjoying the lemon scents i think they're really fresh um and yeah i'm working my way through my candles and um these were really nice i would repurchase both of these again but not for some time because you know they're summer smells and um, we're well on our way into fall. So yeah, I hope you guys like this empties video. I love empties videos. They're my favorite. I look forward to them every month. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have any suggestions. And yeah, I'll see you then. Bye.